Female promiscuity has always, since the dawn of human time, across every culture that's ever existed, from China to the Aztecs, been frowned upon. Every single culture since the dawn of human time has mocked women who were promiscuous. If you were a hoe, you were laughed at. In most cultures, if you weren't a virgin, you couldn't get married. To this day, in half of the world, if you're not a virgin, you can't get married. Female promiscuity across every culture since the dawn of human time has been seen as a negative. That is not a coincidence. It's because females are designed to meet a man, get pregnant, fall in love with said man. If you keep sleeping with X dude, X dude, X dude, popping plan B's, taking the <laughs> taking the, the morning after pill and removing the stigma, this is the big point. For a female in the beginning of her sexual process, there's a stigma associated with sleeping with a new man. If you sleep with enough of them, you remove the stigma. And now it's like, oh, I'll just fuck this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. That cheapens you. It doesn't matter if a man slept with 20 girls or 200 girls. He is still the man. If a woman slept with 200 men, she is worth less. Damn. This is the this is the basis of the Thanks. game. No Thanks. man is gonna marry a woman that 200 men right. slammed and threw to the street. So when the problem with the Western world, and it's, it's the Western world as a whole, but it's especially America, hmm. women think they have some kind of power. Oh, well, I'll go sleep with a guy. You didn't fuck a guy. The mm. guy fucked you. Oh. And you ain't worth anything Jeez. more Damn. by getting fucked. Wait. You need to get that out of your head. It's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Get it out of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have